Hey, what's up guys? Growing the Hobby coming back to you guys with another one of our uh, breaks today. Another break of the subscription box series reviews. Today we're going to do one, another viewer recommended one. Uh, you guys recommended it, so I went out and picked it up. Today we got the pack stack uh, by Greenville Gear. More packs, more value, more fun. Uh, this is exactly how it comes in the mail. This is an eBay buy. Uh, cost is $52.52, kind of a unique number there. Uh, but yeah, fifty-two, fifty-two with free shipping. Uh, applicable taxes are not included in that price, so you got to figure, you know, probably fifty-five-ish dollars, roughly. You're going to pay for this, uh, depending on where you're at. Uh, and in this, uh, apparently, it has, I believe, twelve hobby packs. I think everything is hobby in this. Um, it's either ten or twelve. Uh, we'll see in a minute, but I think it's maybe twelve. Um, and I pre-cut this open for you guys, uh, if you guys can see right here kind of on the bottom I just got this pre-cut so that we didn't have to deal with that on camera and I am glad I did the I, I am very neutral with these breaks uh, unless I see something glaring that I need to point out this is something that I do need to point out um, it's just a piece of advice to the pack stack if anybody from there happens to be watching um, maybe reconsider where you tape this and stuff like that because to cut this even with a utility knife it was an absolute nightmare um, because of these kind of like indentated you know tabs and stuff like that and the way this tape went over this this was a real struggle uh, it would not have been fun to open on camera um just so maybe just reconsider um the route that you go like taping this maybe tape more from the sides and maybe like one down the center or something like that or switch box types or whatever it's just a piece of advice though i mean do what you please obviously it was just a little bit of a struggle that would be the only piece of advice i would offer um and then i pre-opened the box i didn't pull anything out but i just want to make sure that uh, there was nothing that I needed to know about. Um, and there was a little note on there. I will show you guys that. This was on top. Uh, thanks for your support of the pack stack. I threw in some bonus Mets um, plus packs for fun. Be well, GG. Um, so that's Greenville gear. A nice little note there. Um, and I will say that. I forgot to mention. I did get an email from them after I made my purchase asking me what my favorite team is or what team I like. Even though I live in Pittsburgh and I'm a Buccos fan, uh, my number one PC player, as you guys probably know by now, is the Polar Bear Pete Alonzo for the New York Mets. So I chose the New York Mets just to take a shot at maybe getting another Alonzo rookie, maybe another one that I have or don't have or something like that. Um, but I did not tell the seller Pete Alonzo is my big PC player because I wanted to be as neutral as I could, guys, and just see what he kind of threw in just by telling them a team only. So... We will see what we get here, guys. With no further ado, let's just get into opening this. Uh, and then we get some literature here on top. Let's see what that is, and then we'll get to what we have in here. So I'll show you guys what we got. And then we got some very uh, nice literature here, actually. Quite a bit of wording and stuff. I'm not going to read through all of this, but it's, it is nice. Um, so here you go. This is the Summer 2020 First Edition Baseball Release number 5. Looks like there's our 12 hobby packs, as you guys can see, uh, right there listed out for us. And then on the right, they list the key rookies and inserts to look for in that pack. Uh, plus one mystery bonus pack, or more, just for fun. So we'll see how many we wind up with. So at least 12 packs, plus whatever they throw in. And then we'll remember with the pack stack, there's always 12 hobby packs. Uh, only packs from top card manufacturers like Tops and Bowman. A public list of the packs included in each shipment. There's no mystery. Very competitive pricing, 5252 shipped. Mix of recent current packs, some older release uh, rookie card chase boxes. No limits on the number of pack stacks you can purchase. Discounts, multiple stacks. No commitment. Uh, free bonus hobby or retail mystery pack or two. Free shipping. And then here is their contact information. And it looks like they even number each one. So this is 39 of 72 boxes, I guess, made up for this release. So that's kind of cool. Um, and then let's see what we got in here, guys. So we open this up. This is gonna be my team bag here with uh, our, you know what, let's just take a look at this and then we'll pull the pack. So this is the Mets uh, team bag, I guess, that um, when, again, I told him my my team would be the Mets at the hopes of maybe getting a Alonzo rookie or something like that. So let's just see what we have here. We'll fly through these. Uh, David Wright, Michael Conforto, Jake DeGrom, Thor, uh, Steven Matz, uh, Zach Wheeler, Robbie Cano, uh, opening day team card there, Jose Reyes, uh, Hansel Robles, Rene Rivera, Addison Reed, John Nice, uh, Alejandro De Aza, 
Jay Bruce. It's an older one. Seth Lugo. Giannis Cespedes. Bartolo Colon. Zach Wheeler. Lucas Duda. And then we got uh, an auto actually in the end here. Eric Goodell uh, from Bowman. That looks like a... Yeah, that is a sticker auto. But uh, it's from Bowman 2011. There you go. So not numbered or anything like that. But it is an auto card. So a nice little throw in there. Unfortunately, none of the polar bear cards that I was hoping for, but that's okay. Not a big deal at all. Uh, now let's get into the packs, guys, and see what we got in here. So we'll kind of pull all these out first. Leave the packing oh, packing peanuts there. You guys can see the box is empty. That'll do her there, and we'll just keep the pack stack on display here in the background for you guys. Uh, and again, we're looking for 12 packs, so let's try and do a very quick inventory here and see what we get here so we got 2006 tops uh, let's see update okay so that is expected 2018 series one is expected 2017 series two is expected 2016 series two expected 2010 series two expected 2016 update um yep Right there, just making sure that we didn't miss something. 2019 Allen and Ginter is expected. Uh, 2007 Bowman, let's see, yep, yeah, that is expected. 2004 Bowman Draft is expected. I'm guessing these are all expected in this pile. 2014 Series 1 expected, and 2012 Series 1 is expected. So those are the expected packs. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven packs there. Um, okay, and here's our other expected pack. That is our eighty-nine Donruss. So we'll set that aside. Those are our expected packs, and these are the mystery throwing packs. We got ninety-one score, nothing too great there, and ninety-four select. So a couple little throwing packs, um, but always appreciate the extra rips. So let's just get right into this lower end stuff first. The score, so we can pull out of here. Let's just get to this. I've opened a lot of this up in the day. Uh, John Franco, Ozzie Gann, Rob Dibble, Wade Boggs, Chuck Melroy, first round pick card there, Carl Everett, Ozzie Gann, All-Star, Kevin Mitchell, uh, Master Blaster, Carlton Fisk, Mickey Tettleton, Dave Valet, uh, John Wetland. There's our World Series trivia. That's right, I forgot they put these in here. They do these little trivia kind of Things are like the sport flick cards from the 80s. Uh, Jeff Montgomery, Lance Johnson, Dan Gladden, and Bill Gulkson finish us off there. So nothing amazing like I really didn't figure there would be. 94 select. So we've gotten this. Then we'll get to the uh, 12 guaranteed packs. They're all hobby, which is, again, important to point out. Not retail. Those are our hobby packs. Uh, and that 89 Donruss that we're going to start with here in a minute. Is, wow, there's some serious stickage. Let me just kind of off camera try and loosen these. Um, that 89 Don Russ is from the baseball card uh, exchange. It's certified, so that's always a good thing. You know, it's not tampered with or anything like that. Take a look. Uh, the main player in there, obviously, is our Ken Griffey Jr. rookie card. I've opened quite a bit of that stuff looking for it, and this didn't even really loosen this pack up. So, a Rod Beck. Wow, are these. Oh, uh, yoy, yoy. A Brian Anderson prospect card there. Yikes. Howard Johnson. Uh, Paul Sorrento. Leo Gomez. Got a checklist card here. There you go. Prospect card there, Charles Johnson. Gary Sheffield behind that. Jeff Russell. Oh boy, and that is stuck to actually. Didn't even notice. Uh, there we go. Pete N. Caviglia. Then we got Kenny Rogers and our final card, Lee Smith. So I'm glad I don't have many of those packs to open because that was kind of a nightmare. A lot of those ones, you never know which ones are really going to stick. That is clearly one that did not hold up well over time. All right, here's our 89 uh, Delon Russ. Let's get right into this. The big one I'm looking for, again, is the Griffey Jr. I'm always looking for Griffey Jr. rookies. But you can also get, uh, you know, Randy Johnson, Kurt Schilling, Craig Biggio, I think. Uh, yeah, Craig Biggio and John Smoltz. Um, but by far, the Griffey is the one that you're looking for. Uh, if you had to pick just one. So we'll see what we get here. There's our puzzle piece, like always. And let's see what we got here. So we got a nice Mark Grace. 
uh, Jeffrey Leonard, Jose Batista, Paul Gibson, Brian Holton, Roberto Kelly, Ron Kittle, Mike Lego, uh, Mike McFarlane, Bob Brower, Ron Jones, rookie, Bobby Witt. Not Bobby Wood Jr., obviously, but there's uh, his dad, and that is uh, the Rangers. That's right. Mike Fitzgerald, Dave Henderson, Jerry Don Gleaton, and Doug Jones. So none of the big rookies there, but that's okay, guys. Uh, and if you guys are interested in looking for some 89 Don Russ luck there and pulling the Griffey, I have several hobby boxes of that that will be open here in the future. Uh, let's see where to go, where to go. Uh, you know what, let's just do the Alan and Ginter, get that out of the way first. We'll keep the Bowman together, I think. We'll set those there, and then we'll kind of just do all these tops packs together in a grouping. So let's fly through this, guys. Pick up the pace a little bit here. Nice Ken Griffey Jr., the man we were looking for in the last pack. I see he's going to end us off. we got a Johnny Bench. Luke Voigt. Nice uh, rookie card there, Tuki Toussaint. Uh, here is, there's our mini. We got a Paul DeYoung. Uh, that's like the black border and stuff like that, but it's not numbered or anything like that. Nice Babe Ruth there. Uh, baseball star signs. Michael Conforto. And there's our Ken Griffey Jr. And if you guys notice any short prints or anything like that that maybe I missed during this, please leave a comment let me know so we can check that out. Let's do our 2006 tops right off the bat here. This is tops update. We're looking for autos. Uh, I'm reading from the paper, guys, for you. Autos out of 25, including Albert Pujols, uh, Ichiro, Maurer, Ortiz, and A-Rod. So let's see if we get any autos. Russell Brannion, Felipe Lopez, uh, Jorge Julio, uh, Lastings Millage, Casey Jansen. Oh, we got a gold in here. I can see that coming up. That would be awesome if that was autographed. Jerry Harrison. Highlights card here for Corey Sullivan. And there's our league leaders gold card. That's what we got there. Jake Peavy and John Smoltz are probably the big ones to look at there, other than the Aaron Harang. You guys can see the back of that. That'll be out of 2006. Their golds always are. So 541 of 2006. More highlights cards here. Matt Carpenter, Troy Gloss. Uh, JD Drew there. Nice with Stephen Drew for the classic duos. And our last card there featuring Carlos Zambrano. There you go, guys. Let's do what's next here, tops wise. Trying to keep the newer ones towards us here. So let's do uh, let's do this 2010. There we go. Uh, 2010 series two. One one cut signatures of Mickey Mantle, Hannes Wagner, uh, Tree Speaker, and Jimmy Fox. Looks like are the highlighted ones in here. Obviously, any auto would just be insane. Uh, Doug Fister. Trevor Hoffman, uh, Nick Blackburn, Yaddy Molina, then we got a Hanley Ramirez, peak performance card there, Brandon Phillips, and then this Evan Longoria, a really trippy looking card there. Uh, I'm not sure what that's called. Uh, I can turn that over, Let's see what we see. I'm not really sure what that exact parallel is called there. Chen Ming Wang, uh, George Shirell, and then we finish with, uh, oh, okay. This is one of those tops of tax codes or whatever. Obviously very outdated and stuff. If anybody wants that code though, to try their luck even though it expired uh, nine years ago plus, could be my guest. Uh, let's do, 20, what is this, 2016 and we got here, uh, 2014. Let's do 2014, even though I see there's an older pack here still, but that's all right. 2014, we're looking for Xander Bogart's uh, rookie card here. Some autographs in here are Mike Trout, uh, Ken Griffey Jr., Derek Jeter, Sandy Koufax, and Willie Mays. So let's see what we get here. Mark Trumbo, uh, Mike Zinu, Sean Burnett, uh, Ricky Nolasco, Pedro Alvarez, Josh Hamilton, 50 Years of the Draft card, Frankie Lariano, Don Kelly, Jonathan Herrera and Andre Renzo, a rookie card there, so nothing too stupendous again. Let's do our 2012. In this one, we are looking for autographs, it looks like mainly. Uh, Ryan, Mays, Koufax, Aaron, Pujols, and Musial. So basically, we're looking for autographs in here. 
apparently no big rookie. So Brandon Belt, Ben Zobrist, uh, Yadi Molina again. Golden Moments, Struble Carrera, Cabrera, I'm sorry. Not sure what that, I thought that was almost a relic, but it's not. I see we got a Cal Ripken behind it. You can see that Grace Moments. Uh, there we go, Cal Ripken, Derek Jeter there, Timeless Talents. Probably a few bucks on that card, Texas Rangers card there from the World Series. Spin that around, and Jason Hamill, uh, Ryan Rayburn, Paul Canerco, and we finish with uh, ERA leaders it looks like, yep. There you go guys. So move on to our next, we've got a couple 2016s, I guess uh, we'll just do Series 2 first, then we'll do the updates. 2016 Series 2, we're looking for the rookies of Maida, Kepler, Gary Sanchez, and the future stars of Frankie Lindor, Mr. Smiles. Let's see what we get here. Jared Dyson, Tower Skaggs, rest in peace, Alex Rios, James Loney, uh, Giovanni Urshela, Eduardo Escobar, Matt Boyd, future stars card there, Jose Abreu, a rookie, that's a decent one, I don't even think they actually had that listed, uh, just checking this checklist here, no they did not have that listed, but Jose Abreu is a good one, uh, and then we get David squared equals winning formula, there you go, so Big Poppy and David Price, and then we finish with DJ LeMahieu. And then uh, rediscover tops kind of advertisement thing here in the back. So there you go. Let's do the 2016 update. On uh, this one, we're looking for the rookies of Tim Anderson, Urias, Snell, Trevor Story, and Mazzara. So another handful of players thrown into this. We got Dan Jennings, I think again. Stephen Piscotti. Uh, it's going to be a rookie debut card there. Nice, nice rookie though for sure. David Fries. Steve Pierce, Ben Zobrist, all-star card, AJ Ellis, uh, Miguel Sano, uh, rookie debut card, uh, Matt Bush, rookie, Salvi Perez, all-star game, and we finish with a Chris Bryan all-star game. So there we go. Let's do what's next, 2017 Series 2. Rookie cards of Manny Margot, Renfro, Dozier, Alfaro, and Matt Olson are the highlighted ones according to our literature here. Stephen Wright, uh, Miguel, or I'm sorry, Michael Pineda. See how Mariners team card there? Uh, looks like uh, John Axford. Got a throwback here to the 87 design of Josh Donaldson. Eric Bell, that's one of those rediscovered tops cards. Uh, nice little insert there, so they kind of take that and re-stamp it with that rediscovered tops. They're not incredibly hard to pull. I've pulled quite a few of these. You guys can see from the 88 tops, though. Uh, Manny Margot, there we go, guys. That's actually uh, one of the ones that was highlighted. That's actually the first one that was highlighted, so there you go, guys. That is a good one. So we'll put that on top. Probably our best pull of that pack. Uh, Mike Napoli. Dexter Fowler. And Mike Matuk. And Eugenio Suarez. Nice. Not his rookie card, though. 2018 Series 1. Becoming a hot commodity now all of a sudden. Lots of people looking for some good rookies in here. Uh, Raphael Devers, Ozzy Albies, Reese Hoskins, Victor Robles, Walker Bueller, Jack Flaherty, some, to name a few. Uh, Nick Pavetta, Amir Garrett, Daniel Colomb, Francisco Mejia, rookie. Lucas Sims, rookie. Charlie Blackman. Uh, there we go. Carlos uh, Asuai. Sorry, guys. I'm sure I butchered that name. Not very familiar with him, though. Daniel Murphy, League Leaders card. Our last couple of these cards. We've got an Adrian Beltre. Looks like a short print. Check that in one second here. And uh, Ian Kennedy. Let's do a comparison here. So the Ian Kennedy, which I'm sure his base ends in 387. Eh, 387. So that is not a short print there. Adrian Beltre. You're looking for a variation in those code numbers there if you're ever looking at variation cards, guys. All right, our last two things here. We got two thousand two Bowman packs, two thousand four, two thousand seven Bowman. Uh, let's do the two thousand four uh, Bowman draft. 
And all it says there is one autograph, one relic per box. So no actual highlighted names. That's what Bowman's all about. Though. For me, normally, is the parallel cards and stuff. When we do have a hit, it looks like. You guys can see a thicker card stuck in the middle. It's probably going to be a relic. I'd prefer an auto, but uh, Houston Street starts us off. Uh, Mark Allo or Lau, Connor Jackson, uh, Scott uh, Albert. I'm looking ahead, guys. Sorry, this looks like this might be interesting. I wonder if this is gold. I mean, it looks like a gold board. I think it's upside down. I'm not going to make you guys wait. Let's just pull it. Oh, all right. What on earth is this? It is a Brad Thompson first year. There's no way that's a real auto. Let me set that down. This is the thicker card stuff, guys. Let's see if this says anything on the back of this. Oh, that is very uh, strange. So I see no numbering or anything like that. That is different. I don't know if that's just the gold variation or why that's so thick. I've never opened any of this exact product, so that is definitely not an on-card autograph or anything like that. But I wonder why that's so thick. All right, let's finish that pack up. We got J.C. Holt. And Mike Nekius or Nikius. All right, guys. So I have to look into that card after. If you guys know, leave it in the comments. Tell me what it is. Last pack, guys. The 2007 Bowman. In here, we're looking for rookies of Matsuzaka, uh, Ryan Braun. One auto rookie card per box. So the obvious there. We're looking for an auto rookie. Uh, we got a thick card stuck again here at the end, which was actually we saw what it was. Um, but we'll get to it here. Let's just finish this up. Kevin Millwood, uh, Jared Weaver, Jeremy Sowers, uh, Orlando Hudson, Kenny Rogers. Very hard to see this font, especially you get it on camera. Uh, Josh Johnson. We got a gold. I'm guessing this is gold. I mean, because it sure looks it. Uh, Josh Beckett. See numbering there, but I think that's a gold. Oh, looks like a checklist card. Didn't even realize they had those then. And we got Adam Carr, Aaron Peel, and then this. What? Oh, okay, we do not have a thicker stock card at the back. I thought we did. Uh, oh boy, there we go. Trying to get the name for you guys. The Darren McDonald. Ah, just trust me. It says Darren McDonald and Sean Thompson. Uh, so there we go, guys. Nothing insane. Um, so no really big pulls today guys, but that's okay. Not gonna happen all the time, obviously. Takes a little bit of pack luck sometimes. Uh, sorry for it being a little bit longer there guys. Some of these products are a little bit older and stuff and stuff I have not opened. So it takes a little bit of getting used to with the familiarity. But uh, yeah, please leave a like, subscribe, share, click that bell notification button to be notified of future videos. Lots more of them coming to you guys. We're getting very close to the end of this series though of the review boxes. Uh, we will do a conclusion couple of videos actually we're gonna do uh, uh, my create your own boombox if you guys recall check out the couple of videos I've already uploaded of that in the past those were really cool uh, we'll explain that as we get to it but uh, that's how we're gonna wrap this up is with one each for uh, one for baseball and one for hockey uh, so we'll do that to conclude all of this um, I'm gonna get a couple more um, subscription boxes in that I liked that I already broke on here but that I liked I'm not gonna I want to be unbiased during this entire series but after the series is done I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys a couple of them that I liked because I'm gonna get a couple more of those in and we'll break those here of the ones that I really liked uh, well, that should also put us around the time of the new boombox releases for July so we'll do uh, the new boomboxes for July at the very end of this and I will tell you guys straight up that uh, either tomorrow will be one of two things. It will either be a, one of the wrap-up videos here with Create Your Own Boombox. It will either be my baseball or hockey one tomorrow. Or I'm waiting on my All About the Hobby June the Box uh, to come in. I bought it over a month ago. I actually sent an email here a couple days ago asking you know where it's at and stuff like that because it's still not here. It was due um, for a while now. Um, so we'll either add that in here, and if we don't get it in time uh, when the series is done, we'll just add that on at the end at some point. But uh, just wanted to keep you guys up to date, let you guys know what to expect and what's going on. But other than that, have a great day, a great night, wherever you guys are at, and we will see you guys next time.